control. A little surprise pressure. Crawford again. Oh! Another big time J by the kid from Detroit. And Xavier up by one. He has 19. Holloway with the screen. Oh, he's fouled! And the shot! And he's gonna shoot three! Before getting in shooting position. First one good. Second free throw. Good for the tie. And he got it. Pull it in the front court. Two to shoot. Oh! Arrowhead Moore. And two pretty good penetrators in Holloway and Crawford. Holloway three. Oh, bam! He rattled it home. 78 to 77. Holloway turns, flies. Oh, he's buried it again. Arrowhead tied at 84. Wow! I guess you can work on that. Holloway has shown a flair for the dramatic. Holloway, 11 to go. Holloway kicks it out. Crawford, 8. Crawford's got a hurry. Up. Oh, no. He tied it. Clemente. Clemente fires. And we'll have the double overtime. What a game. It's the classic on the corner of John Stockton Cole Malone Drive. Jordan Crawford takes matters into his own hands. He doesn't care where he is on the floor as long as he's behind the line. For a 7-0 run to start the game. Blewett gives it up. Here's Gooden. He gives it up. Right back to Blewett. 4-3. Yes! Seven-point deficit. Xavier trying to come back. And another one! Three-point bomb by Malcolm Bernard, his third of the game. All tied at 71. Who's going to take that big shot? Dump it inside. O'Mara. O'Mara scores! Trier. He's been hot. Three-pointer is up. Trier. No! And the ball is loose. And it is Xavier. Bernard comes away with it. Clock ticks. And that's it! Xavier has upset Arizona! Down against Burton. Brown starting his dribble. He moves in. He pops up. He shoots. Go! Lenny Brown! Xavier wins it! The Muskies win it! 71 69! And this the UC Bearcats are number one in the country, number two in their own city! 71 69, Lenny Brown on a dribble drive from the left wing, buried it inside the free throw line. Muskies win it! 71 69 over UC! Incredible! Number one goes down on their own floor! Big shot, missed it! Here's a guy who can move. Rip away. Lavender. And shot high. Back down. He's still on the floor. Bruce Roman. She's got the goal. Back to Bliss. Boy, defensive pressure really picking up here by Xavier. And everybody on the deck. They're dusting the floor. Thanks for going again. It's still pretty good. I mean, you got to take the first good one you can get against Georgia's defense. They will. Gives it up. And the two-hander. Is under eight minutes to play. Raymond. Yes! Is off the rim. Loose ball. Musketeers. Two on two. Burrell. Yes! Jackson! And the four on the front. Yes! And it's over. Seventy-three, sixty-one. Xavier moves on to round two. I love the defensive stance of all of these players. Left to right hand. How big minutes in this Purdue lineup? He knows if he takes him out of his comfort zone, they would be less apt to play well. And he got that response. Correct. Takes a glance. Shot clock to nine. Throws up the shot. He's going to have to guard a post player here. Lavender scoots it down baseline, throws it up and in. Lavender goes to his left hand. Spins, going down the paint, dunk down, push shot. Yeah! Just beat the buzzer! Lavender, giving us the clock, puts up that patented shooter. Here the ball, Lavender, who's trying to go close to close it. Just was down the dunk out. Up for the steal, five seconds.
8-10 midway through the first half. And a nice draw by Lyles, Virginia. Here's Brown. Pretty soft. Drives it, kicks it, and done it for three. Big time! Way to stick it, Jackson. Guarded by Alexander. And one! Fifth guards and jumps up short. Overtime. And Missoula with the courage to make the dish. At the other end, it's encouraged hard by Raymond. Oh, how about that? Nice maneuver against this matchup. Here's the pin down, the automatic defensive change. Screen from Raymond, Lavender. Oh! They went under again. They did it in the first half. That leaves Raymond open. That's his game. One percent for three. Two seconds on the shot clock. Back a one point Xavier Lee. You gotta watch the lob to the rim on the back screen to Duncan. There he goes. Trouble getting in. Oh, wide open. Raymond for three. Oh! Huggins! How could they leave him? Timeout, Huggins. West Virginia. Wow. That is exactly the question that Bob Huggins is asking. But just great use of the screen, the lack of communication, and then that courage to throw cross court. And how about this? Put it all out there. Oh my goodness. Celebration. And why not? Oh, that is great. You pointed out he had foul problem first half, early in the second. They would get a lot out of him on the offensive end. Xavier Musketeers are 6.8 away from winning their 30th game for the first time in school history and advancing to the Elite Eight. Exceptionally well right now. Five to go. Here's Missoula. Left side for three. Ruoff. No. Xavier wins. B.J. Raymond can two threes in the overtime. Joe Alexander missed a free throw with 14 seconds left in regular. Crawford right down the lane. Finds Love, count it, and a foul. Double's going to come at him pretty often. Crawford roaming baseline. Hangs. And the foul goes down. Nice work by Jackson defensively. Hop step. And the scoop goes down. Creativity. You talked about your creativity. I look at the extra extension to make that happen. Here's Crawford using the McLean screen. Jackson steps into it and nails a three. Karine, when you get good movement away from the ball. Crawford, he's taking over. But here comes Xavier. Lions, pretty spin. What a delivery. Get out. Jackson on the skip pass. Long three goes down Jordan Crawford. Straight up. Don't pick up one reach him right here. Johnson went for the steal. Timer down to five. Holloway makes his move. Off the crossover, Crawford, got it, a three. Jordan Crawford has done it all. Xavier handles Minnesota and moves on to the second round of the West region. 65 to 54, the final in Milwaukee. 265 pound sophomore, a three. Redford cans it. Crawford pushing tempo, hop step to the rim, and he lays it in. Of. Lions and freeze on the floor. Jackson, he's got it. Clean, turns, and hits. They're getting just about everything they want in their offensive set. 7-0 run, Crawford. There we found some space. Crawford, over Dixon, it's a three. Crawford, long three, he knocks it down. For Xavier, averaging 20 points per game, 10 to shoot. Holloway, the bump, fade away. Oh. Rimming down for Holloway. Baker on a crossover and rejected by Love. It's uncontested. Crawford going upstairs. 168. Outside, shot at the horn. Oh. It's short. X marks the spot in Salt Lake City. Davis. Ball knocked away to the hands of Driving, handing. Woo! Broken ball, coach. Unbelievable. A lot of lingerie on the deck. Sumner. Edmund Sumner. Point guard. Savior. How about 
this. The final score, 90 to 83, and for the first time since joining the Big East, Xavier beats Villanova, and they do it while the Wildcats were ranked number one. Kaiser Gates for three. He's been looking good this year from three, and he hits that one. And that's what Xavier has done much better so far early. Blew it, the deep three. Marshall had his hands up right away. Trouble in that first half. Had two, blew it, the deep three. Got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. My goodness. <laughs> Makura. Good up and under off the glass. Who predicted this? And that will do it. The Xavier Musketeers gave up 30 points last year off of 19 offensive rebounds. It was a point of emphasis for this year. They certainly redeemed themselves. About to make a bad mistake out of bounds or something like that, you get that timeout. Anything to keep the ball, anything. So that was the right timeout where he felt he couldn't pass the ball. This was a 12-point game at the half for Xavier, 36-24, but Cincinnati has outscored of 29-17 after halftime. By the way, they've changed their, they've changed their, their, their play to try to score right off it. Clark from Thomas, scores, and a foul! How good was that? Great move to, to give him single coverage in the court. Three guys in half court, one guy mid, and, and out of bounds, and one guy one-on-one. -on -one. T. Davis throws the three. How big was that? And how poised was he, Jason, when he caught the ball? I love that. I love the execution of the play. I like the idea that he's an individual. Foul call. Gary Clark on the overplay. And by the way, Blue has been sitting a long time. Still hasn't scored yet. This will lead to a one and one for Xavier now with 11 and a half to go. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I feel bad for him because he's been sitting most of the game. Uh, obviously, good time to step up. Pretty good foul shooter. The freshman from Indy, Trayvon Blewett. We kind of knew early it was going to come down to this. Then it didn't look like that, but both teams have made it come that way. Give credit to both teams. One and one. Got the first. That's called the crier. He cried his way in. I'm glad it did. If I'm the, if I'm Chris Mack at that point, not so much for Larry Davis at that point. Timeout, Cincinnati. That's the last timeout for the Bears. Xavier takes the lead. Another epic in the crosstown shootout. Unbelievable, but great. <laughs> Shot fake, three, missed it, rebound Xavier, and a foul with point five to go. You know, they start the game off, and I said a great job of defensive rebounding, and they get the biggest defensive rebound by the second smallest guy on the court, Miles Davis. Terrific rebound, terrific play. They got a good shot. They got a good shot to win it. Um, it's been a special game. I mean, I, I like Copain. Xavier wins! You know what? Great basketball game. Both teams, terrific. In my opinion, they, they look to me. They passed that eye test. They're both tournament teams. Xavier continues the heartbreak for Cincinnati. 11 of 16 of the series for the Musketeers. And a huge tournament resume win for Xavier. Oh, no question. I mean, I mean... Fairly quick. They try to take the lead and then... Tries to take advantage of his height. Nice find. The basket counts for Hankins, and he is fouled. After being deflected yeah. by Wellens. Xavier came with the full court pressure.
Jenkins with a tip in. It's a five point game. Scored five straight to cut a 10 point deficit in half. Scruggs left wide open. Wide open. It's a two point game. Scruggs with his fifth three. That's a new career high. One minute left. Castlin for the tie. Wow. Yes, sir. Just his sixth three point bucket of the year. Shot. Marshall behind the back. Four to shoot. Marshall. Scoop shot blocked. Foul called on Butler. One second on the shot clock. 3.2 left in regulation. And you know what? <laughs> With 3.2 left, he runs the baseline, gets it into Baldwin. Baldwin fires up a shot, no foul, and the Xavier Musketeers rally from 10 down late and win it by a point on their home court. Good and nice feed. Hickens throws it down. Harden, 17-footer, banks it in. Yeah, agreed. Thank you very much, Gene. Harden, corner three. It's good! And we are tied! Marshall on the perimeter. He's going to take that three. And make it! Straight wins. Corner three is good again! This time it's Scrubs! Marshall three. Jones the offensive board! Oh! Tyreek with the hammer! It's off to Sonogo blew it, drives, and a tough shot that Makira follows. Oh, it is JP's world, and we're all just living in it today. through a zone defense. Oh! Give me all two of those. And size and width. For both teams, it's time to let your game do the talking. Blewett is doing just that in the first half. He's got four threes. 
And Xavier is back up by five. And yeah, by the way, just out of curiosity. Oh, it was fun this afternoon <laughs> in practice, man. Trey Bone blew it is on fire in the Queen City. Ups the game. And they usually turn it into some kind of transition, but it worked against them here. Blew it, throws it down. Trayvon blew it with 23 in the first half. He's perfect from the floor. The kick, blew it for the largest Xavier. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Is man. there anything that did not go down for Trayvon blew it in a monster, epic, memorable half of basketball in the Crosstown shootouts? Hit. Herder comes away with a steal, looping ahead. The drive by Cowan, rejected! Malcolm Bernard, big time block. Well, good conversion defensively. Makura walls up, which allows Bernard to lead. Gooden, kick it out. Open look for Blewett, he nails it. It's a triple. We've had six lead changes, largest cushion has been nine for Xavier. Blewett, a three, he's heating up. Yeah, good execution again. Half court set here for Xavier. Catch and shoot. Blew it again. Trayvon blew it. Is smoking. Let's go, Big Go. His pocket, ball fake, mature, dishes to the jam. Tyreek Jones rocks the rim. Their defense, good offensive teams that are efficient. Mature, uh, just feeling it, right? Gooden, hesitation drive. Gates feeling it. Yes, a three. Kaiser Gates from downtown. A 15 for Xavier, two of 13 for the Seminoles. Machura, three feeds, Tyreek Jones on a racket. Gooden continues to get more confidence out top. Yeah. And there's the star. How sweet it is once again for Xavier. A dominating performance by the 11 seed. The Musketeers are moving on in the West Region. 91 to 66. Finds Blewett. They want it in his hands. Nice. Blewett drives, stops, fades. <laughs> Trey Vaughn Blewett. Saw player. Romain Sacco knocks down a three pointer. And Louisville leads Xavier 53 to 45. Strip. Picked up Finn, lead pass, Chalmers, bang! Man. Holy mackerel! And here come the Musketeers, down by one. 58 to 55, Sato from downtown, hands! Chalmers, stop and start, down the lane, leaves it, Finn, picks it up, and rips it! Plus the five! How about that? Isles wide open, across the lane, short. Gets his own rebound and sticks it back. They need somebody who's going to be able to put points on the board. Sano again. And that's it. The final 80 to 70. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, Gus, what a comeback by the Musketeers of Xavier. They move on to face Mississippi State. Full with the rebound. Diedrich Finn. Oh! He ripped it. Count it. What a huge lift going in that locker room. Lower right. Here's the shot. Plenty of time as it left. Just a couple of tenths of a second. It's called plenty of time. And dead on. And it's funny how things work out. Prior to 9-11, Diedrich Finn was scheduled to visit Mississippi State. 9-11 occurred. He couldn't get on his flight and ended up signing with Xavier. And you see the ball out of his hands as everything lights up, signaling the end of the half. Now Sato wide open. And kick Dolman down the lane, up and in. I think he has been working on going to the basket. Xavier with basically three guards on the floor, tough team to trap. Dolman steps back. 
Again. The freshman Gage with a rebound and put back. It's Chalmers down the lane. The kick. Finn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's Xavier is it's unbelievable today. It's destiny. Frazier in the corner, partially blocked. Into the front court, they find Finn. Straight to the basket, up and in. Xavier advances to the Sweet 16, 89 to 74. The final, defeating Mississippi State. Dolman inbounds to Sato. That's a jumper for three. Uh, he can do a lot of things for this team. Mano knocked off temporarily, recovers. Cage. Pretty, pretty cagey. Not it's like they're accustomed to, and yet they all fill the bill. Sato, beauty. In the lane, has it taken away. Three on two. Boddicker back, Chalmers, 4-3. There's his first of the game. Well, down, picked up by Xavier. Chalmers. Sato. How about that? Numbers, and they get a chance for three, Vern. Ivy kicked it. Chalmers, all the way. Oh. And a foul, too. Diedrich Finn. Yes! Oh, my goodness. How about him? And just give it up. See what he can do. You want to extend the game if you're behind. Romain Sato, born in Bangui in the Central African Republic, came to the United States in January of 1999. Tiffany Thompson, his guardian, met him at the airport in that January midwinter in Dayton, Ohio. And here is Romain Sato attempting to put the Musketeers into the round of eight. How about that, huh? He's got one more. Cute little story where they labeled everything in the house. He couldn't speak English just so he could identify the lamp, the ceiling, rug, etc. And look at him now on the threshold. If Xavier wins, they join St. Joseph's in the Elite Eight. St. Joseph's who takes on Oklahoma State in East Rutherford tomorrow night. St. Joseph's, a team that Xavier whacked by 20 points 15 nights ago in the Atlantic 10 tournament. There's that stroke. Same thing now, you want a quick hit and give it. Quick hit, you can't delay. Lodiker. Here's Sidmill Harris. Pumps out the rim, no good. Post time. Xavier has it, and a foul with 3.9 to go. Rick Barnes is about to get teed up from Ted Valentine. He got one already. He's going to be His aspirations same. will be thwarted at the level of 16. 79-71, the Xavier Musketeers, under the leadership of Thad Mata, are into the Elite Eight for the first time in the history of the program. They want to check offensively, and here's Reddick with a little runner. And a little soon, too. They got a chance here. Good one. They got Dolman if they want. Then pull up over Duhon. Mississippi State to give Xavier the lead. That was in the second round game. They're going to check the clock on this firm, but that's out of his hand. You can see Dolma was at the rim. A heady move. The confidence level. Oh. Diedrich Finn for three at the break. Well, does that give you some juice going in at halftime? Now Deng's on him. Over Deng. Nice Off three. the rim, there's Sato. And one. That's where he can do his damage. One of the better rebounders from the guard spot. I don't know if they give this to Williams. It is. Ooh. Everybody. Back outside. Move the ball around. No. Look at the rebound. Cole for the rebound. Up in. How about the numbers? They ran, as you mentioned. The Musketeers back the other way for the win. He got, got it. it! He got it! He's got it! He got it! Oh! The Musketeers go on to the championship.
championship game on Sunday. Well, they're going to review it, but it sure looked good. It's never over. A lot of time. Kick out. There's Blewett. He got it! And he's fired! And he could tie the game! Coming off the screen, the most improbable of circumstance. And that's a foul. And that Blewett for three. Big shot for Trayvon Blewett. A guy like Blewett, that he's going to make the free throw. Blewett, the pull-up jumper. He's got it. He knew he had it. Blewett wants it against Jorgensen. Gooden finds Blewett for a deep three. He hits it again. Makura, five seconds to go. He has to hurry. Here's JP. Cross town traffic takes a three. Oh! Wow. How about the presence of mind? They're going to check it. Makura, numbers. Makura, the lob. Oh! The X-Men. Makura nice with a deflection gets it. He's got good in the lob. Oh! <laughs> Young fella, don't hurt him, Hammer. He is living on. The Demon Deacons up 15 on the number six team in the country. But here comes Xavier Edmund Sumner, the huge jam. And it's a two point game, a 17 2 run for Xavier. And then tied at 49, Sumner, the three. He can struggle for 38 minutes, but he wants the ball. He'll shoot it for the lead, and he hits the three! Holloway makes it! He's stay in the moment. He'll fire another long one. Wow! Oh, absolutely amazing! Money to Holloway! Two! Jaquan Parker was working one-on-one, -on -one, brought his man in there. You can't leave Holloway alone like that. Put the pedal to the metal. Holloway is so strong. Oh, that's just sick. Stop behind the back. Let me make you stop for a second. You've got to go into your move about seven seconds on the shot clock to be able to have a, a good opportunity without being under duress. Holloway with a chance for a three-point play. How pretty was that? Walker is handling the basketball. What a luxury for Chris Mack. Holloway with the left hand. Well, two Holloway can go as strong with his left as he can with his right. Number eight in the nation. They've had some stiff tests. Still perfect. Holloway backdoor from Lions. Williams stuck on Stato right now. Can't really get free. Romain Stato can't. Chalmers in it. 27 seconds to go. Xavier leads by one. So go to your next best. It's Chalmers right there, on the spin, can't get the ball to Tato, but she's a fake little bit. Man. To Bobby Huggins, it's turned it on that stomach. Logan Hanlon against Price, better watch out! Oh! He comes up with another one! Price on the steal, and the layup! He has done an unbelievable job defensively to get to the foul! Lloyd Price has played defense like nobody I've seen in the last 10 minutes in the second half he's been phenomenal the steals watch the quick hands I mean he's got quicker hands than a pickpocket guy in Times Square <laughs> I mean look at him picking that puck and then to have the ability to convert that that was a tough tough play Brad that was a tough play Lloyd Price wasn't there a singer years ago Lloyd Price it was a singer had a big time hit he wasn't heated enough earlier this week. Jason Max Seal, the forward for Cincinnati, right there, number 54, had some rather interesting words about David West saying, I'm a lot tougher than he. Working inside, and he gets the second one to go. David West. Here's West. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. David West spent a lot of time in the summer working on that jump shot. What else? Here's Conference USA, freshman of the year, and here's West on the baseline, fading away. Uh oh. Huh. Exuding constant run. West cut off. Fourth one up and got it to fall. David West. Arthur now on Santo. Nice hustle. Oh, West. Oh, what a. What do you coach in basketball in the last five seasons? Underneath, David West has 19, and the meter is still running. Beckett is safe. So West has got a David West says, I'm not the rebound. And that might do it for the Musketeers. 70-66, Xavier, 16 ticks of the clock left. Hardy, 
for three. Easy. Good. Three. Seventy sixty nine. A one point Xavier lead. Seven seconds left. They got a foul. Kimbrough in front court. Four seconds left. Campbell makes a save. Larkin. No good. But Xavier holds on to win in a frantic last few seconds. To cut the lead to one, it's been a nine to two inch for Xavier, and they're going to move on to the second round to play UConn. Hyatkowski fires up a three. Scales. Now King, he hits it, but not enough time left. And Xavier of Cincinnati, Ohio, and Pete Gillen. Player call the time. We're going to go. Blew it. On the baseline, across the lane, and good! Trayvon Blewett knocks it down with 4.4 to go. Van Ankelenor stepping up. Your main... That's what I figured inside, yeah. O'Mara, Machira with a follow. JP does it again. Let's get behind you. Here we go. It's Gooden, end to end, through a double. At the rack, is there a lead foul? foul? They did with .3 left. Are you kidding me? Evan Burroughs called it. This is for it all. A victory on the road yet again in the Big East in first place. He got it. Blew it, pumps it. Oh, my. What a killer. And Jones' effort. Oh, incredible. Now you got numbers on this end. Alley oop to Makura. Oh, boy, what a finish. Takes a three and hits. Trayvon blew it. Big Makura. To blew it again and again. He knocked it down. Trayvon blew it. Cross court Makura lets it go deep. Again. Cantor will take the jumper and knock it down. It's a timeout instead. Makira! Oh my oh, goodness! Oh. How about that? Some buckets out of Minneapolis! Big time delivery! It's to play in the game. Beautiful play, knocking that away from behind! And then the jam at the other end from JP Makira! Oh, that was big time. Good. Taking it back. Makira with another shot from downtown. The senior playing well on the road. It's into the front court. It's intercepted. Marshall's going to put an exclamation point on this game. It's a game, and that's where the weight, losing the weight is so important. There's Jones. Gets it back out, and a steal. Scruggs, hustling, gets to the hole, and flashes it. Cartwright holds the board. It's Jones from McGarrett and Powell. Down. A little more. A little more. Oh, oh. Man up. Power dribble. Pulls up. And it hits. Big shot. Yeah. Well, Makura on the inbound. Yeah. And JP hits his 4 3 of the game. 16 points. Xavier, 46%. Makura again. Woo! Trying to step back, kicks it again. Makura, JP Makura inside Reynolds. No, oh, the follow dunk. James Farr. I'm out, Smitty. Weaver State trying to hang around, but the big boys from the Big X delivering when it counts. Uh, Lavender behind the line takes the three. Oh, watch this. That's not really the way to go right now. Oh, and a block by Tyree Jones. Makura running the break. Makura all the way for two more. Shot clock to the Musketeers. D. Davis left open for three. He has had the hot hand today. He knocks down his fourth triple. And the offensive board just stained. 
and lay in is good as he loses his goggles. Doing this. Jalen Reynolds. Physical presence down low. Far for three is good. His loss did not do a good job defending that pick and roll at all. Aggressive defense down low forces the turnover. Xavier in transition. Blew it. The blow by. <laughs> Xavier went six and three against ranked opponents this year. All three losses to Villanova as McCarry went right to Jalen Reynolds. Abel up ahead. And Abel and the foul. Miles Davis. It's good. Miles Davis. D. Davis is back in the game for Xavier with four fouls, and he lays it in and off the pass. Xavier using up the shot clock here inside 10. Stainbrook, tough shot up. Very impressive performance by the Musketeers, the sixth seed in the West region, and they are moving on to the round of 32. And they are the fourth highest scoring duo in the country, Harrow and R.J. Hunter. So playing without him, they've been really... And they are the fourth highest scoring duo in the country, Harrow and R.J. Hunter. So playing without him, they've been really successful. What a shot. D. Davis from high above and the shot clock expiring. You got to get it in the corners against this defense. Crowder inside does not get the roll and Reynolds the rebound. Abel quickly in transition, counted and won. Well, the best way to beat a zone is to beat it before it sets up. And that's what Xavier does here. That's part of the game plan by Chris Mack. Let's push this thing up and see if we can beat the zone down the floor. That was a classic example and a good finish by Abel. They're basically in the time now where they can attack. But it's a different kind of attack. Four seconds left. Reynolds throws it down. Great pass by Makura. They closed out on him hard because they know he's a great three-point shooter, and that left Reynolds alone on the box. Emphatic finish to the first 20 minutes by Jalen Reynolds, who has 10 points. Well, you're going to see here they close out hard on Makura, and nobody rotates back when the ball got skipped from one side of the floor to the other. Good offense by Chris Max Musketeers. Reynolds will take that. Has a dozen. This with five on the shot clock. Rolls it in to Reynolds. I think George is rid of it. Abel out to blew it. Good. Davis wants another three. This time he knocks it down. His fourth triple. D. Davis nowhere to go. And he lays it. Miles Davis for three. Good! His fifth three that ties a career high. And for the seventh time in school history, Xavier advances to the Sweet 16. The Musketeers are on their way to LA in Los Angeles, California to take on the Arizona Wildcats. How sweet it is, Joe, the Musketeers. The, the third Sweet 16 appearance in the last six years. Chris Mack, the only coach in Xavier history to do that. And uh, what a wonderful moment for Xavier's program, uh, this team. Outstanding job by the Musketeers here. How about this? Xavier out-rebounding the bigger Arizona team here. 27-22. Reynolds got it from Davis. Oh, and he puts it in hard. Raymond drives, hands, and drops it in. Great point. He had to carry 250 up and down the court as a layup mistake. Brown gives it away in the corner. Three on the way. And down she goes. And Jackson is winning. Hold it side to look here. Here in Boise. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Y
second half for Dominguez. And maybe that's the most surprising step of the slam dunk baseline is buried by Brian The record of 26 and 7. Will advance on to round two. And Portland State finishes up a fine season. 24. Going crossover. Count it at the buzzer. Turns it over. Evansville, a transition opportunity. Oh, oh, the big block. How about it? Your point guards blocking shots. Your forwards lead.